morning guys and gals back wires and back roads here obviously so we are in I have to call it central Illinois <laughs> left on Tanag in about two o'clock yesterday two o'clock in the afternoon drove till about two o'clock in the morning <clears throat> had some freezing rain last night on the road and man it was slick I was doing like 45 miles an hour I, I just did my patented slowing down and putting on the the hazards and I must have saw 10 cars and trucks in the ditch and flipped over and I made it. <laughs> Slipped around in a couple bridges but you know just don't slam on the brakes or anything and you're fine so anyway we're heading to Florida and I usually when I go to Florida I tend to kind of go to my little safe spot you know the place that I feel comfortable to kind of like you know, settle in and figure out what I'm going to do from there, and that would be Caravel, Florida. <clears throat> I call that the Ontonagana, Florida. <clears throat> Excuse me. A little end of the road town, probably roughly the same size, and uh, as Ontonagana. And uh, yeah, it's got a <clears throat> no pressure. You know, like at least the last three or four years, I've popped in there. You can just find a place to park, and you can go park at the marina or the launch ramp, and, you know, no one's hassling you, and the cops aren't hassling you, and, you know, it's just low population, low stress kind of place to get your wits about you, go walk around, figure out what you're going to do from there, so, so that's where I'm heading first, um, but, uh, ultimately, I think I'm going to Titusville, Florida, uh, from there, and, uh, well, you know what, I'll just, uh, Instead of getting too ahead of ourselves, in, in, in case plans change, I always have the handful of people on here that are like, you never do what you say you're going to do. And it's like, yeah, because sometimes things happen in route and they plans change. But anyways, enough of that. We're heading to Carabelle. I'm thinking about 850 miles away. Maybe I'll even make it today, late tonight. So stay tuned. guys and gals again day three and I'm about three hours from Carabelle Florida and it's uh, I just saw a sign back there a bank sign it's like 55 degrees today and I love it I'm wearing flip-flops and uh, I just stopped at this fruit stand <laughs> this good old boy was wearing his winter jacket and he's freezing and he's walking around and he's just like I can always tell you northerners where are you from and I'm like I'm from the Upper Peninsula, Michigan. As I can tell you're wearing flip-flops. What's wrong with you? And I'm just like, it's just so funny that people just get so climatized to what they get used to. It's just, it's, it's funny. It's so funny. I'm actually, I, I'm glad that, you know, whatever it is, the thickening of the blood or the, you know, just getting used to it, I'm really glad that, that 50 degrees feels warm to me. I mean, it just, it opens up the world. I know that all these years that I've known Scooter Tramp Scotty, it's just been this ongoing kind of joke and observation that like, if it gets below 70, you know, he's shivering, he's putting on a jacket, you know, if he can't wear, you know, his tank top or something, you know, it's cold. So it's because he's just lived in 70, 80 degree weather, you know, for 25 years now, <coughs> which is great. But I like to have a little more flexibility in the places I can go in the times of years. I don't know. That's just me. Uh, 
So yeah, we're gonna be in Carabelle today and I'm really excited. The boat has pulled beautifully all the way down for the most part, I mean, no troubles. Um, I've kept it at like 50, 55 the whole trip and gotten, I'm gonna guess 14, 15 miles to the gallon overall, which is great. I mean, that's, that's amazing to me. So big old heavy boat back there loaded up truck and I've been sleeping in the back of the cab here it's been great you just drive until you're really tired and you can I can pretty much sleep on a bed of nails if I'm tired enough so when I get to Carabelle I'm gonna jump in the river and I, if there's still a hose at the little county park there I'm gonna take myself a bath shave this god-awful beard off and uh, go to Henry's have myself a couple of beers and figure out what we're going to do from there. So, Okay, guys. I sure hope this is interesting to you. It's going to get more interesting. This trip is going to have some really cool stuff if I have any say about it. We're going to be seeing some pretty cool stuff. So, Got the scooter on the front of the truck. The Elite 250, which means I can go just about anywhere in Florida and not get run over. Uh, hopefully. <clears throat> Got the boat. Go pretty much anywhere. And, uh, Let's try to cram in some adventures, man. Let's try to have some fun. Get it while the getting's good. So, okay, guys. Catch you later. Hey, guys. I'm gonna give. I'm in Walmart here. I'm gonna give you guys a little tip in case you don't know. I'm gonna turn the phone around for a second. Okay, so I'm picking up some flares. To put on the nimble in case I, you know, get pulled over by the Coast Guard or whatever. It's one of the things you have to have on your boat. If you go through what they have to offer, get the one with the expiration date as far out as possible. So this pile right here is September 2024, but I went through the pile and I found one that's October 2024, so it gives me an extra month because these things they way overcharge for them because you know there's something you have to have, you know. And when, you know, when something's mandatory, they always jack the price up. And, of course, get yourself a, a pecan pie while you're at it. Jeez, 27 bucks. What a rip-off. Gravy, gravy. What are you doing? Palm trees. Oh. Well, guys, we just crossed into Florida officially on the panhandle here. And I stopped at the Welcome Center. And it looks like it's all closed. I was hoping I could get a map. But she's closed. I know. I'm just making a little video. You wouldn't happen to have any maps, would you? Okay. Thank you. A nice fella gave me a map. Let's go lay in the sun, lay in the grass in the sun with Wavy, and see where we're gonna go. Let's go sit in the grass. Come on, let's go. Man, sometimes guys, this is all you need. Just warm weather, the mindset to appreciate it. Which for me means coming from the cold, I guess. I'll probably get used to this and start taking it for granted in a week or so, but I will try not to. All right, guys, so here's the panhandle of Florida. I'm coming in, or where did I just come in at? Uh, where am I? 
somewhere around in here, whoops, sorry, somewhere around in here just came in, and we are heading to Carabelle. I think I've got about two hours.